Yeah, uh, we have been here on the same page recently. Marine Finland, the geologically diverse Baltic Sea. Where I found this one picture. You can read the article, this picture in particular. And I pointed out that we have triangle shapes here everywhere, which might be shockwave patterns from winds or whatever. It created the shockwave and we also have this kind of crater-like structure here. This is a bathymetric map of the seabed from the Neugrund meteorite impact crater site of the coast of Estonia. And Andrew Hall was showing this kind of similar picture where we have this kind of round structure. And I tried to find some other place where we have this kind of kind of similar structure in the in the ground or on the ground or as ground. And I might have found something. Let's hop over to Google Maps. Here we are somewhere in Africa. I will put the link below. So, what are we looking at? This area is higher than this area. Okay. So these are cliffs here. It's a little bit hard to make it Google maps but anyway if we turn it around and watch from above down we can see also triangle shaped patterns and layers they are in a way triangle shaped and here's the same. So I might suggest, and if you look around here, you'll probably also find this kind of round shapes in the ground. Which are maybe a similar kind of pattern as in this other picture but I would suggest now let's zoom out a bit further still this whole area which is not only darker than the rest it's also elevated. Libya mountain range. These are real mountains. So I would somehow suggest that they got burned, altered electrically. And that's why we have this kind of, how to put it, upside down tetrahedrons. somewhat triangular shaped forms and if we would zoom in closer they would I don't know if the quality is good enough here you can see it in a way it's just repeating the same pattern so this land probably didn't get created through volcanic activity which brought stuff from below upwards this has made might have been created like 
that there was energy coming from high up electrical electrical energy and the stuff accumulated and it got molded into place so it's somehow the ground is growing up from the surface and not from under the surface like a volcano does that's where we have those but i just showed you those triangle shapes which are in a way overhanging at the edges because if there would have been water erosion doing this kind of stuff you would have channels here all the way flow patterns which would break this edge sooner or later because the water would flow from here down and then continue we just have this kind of patterns here but they might be just partially to water erosion and it's really hard to tell which is the original color <laughs> how does it really look like but you can find amazing stuff there It's like watching into deep space. Yeah, I leave it here. Thanks. Bye.